Right now at Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory, save 50 to 70% off everything in stores and online. That's right, 50 to 70% off everything. Celebrate the 4th with dresses from $19.99 at Banana Republic Factory. And at Gap Factory stores, tees start at $4.99. Plus, save an extra 40% off clearance. Sale ends Tuesday. Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory store or shop us online. You're tuning in to the Goldilocks presentation of the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine Show with Anthony Rodriguez. Anthony Rodriguez, a.k.a. Walking Crow, found transformational energy healing through a personal search and a healing and was transformed by this experience. He made the decision to pursue training and has since become a certified energy healing practitioner with an emphasis on working with clients in recovery from addiction. His willingness to be open and listen has allowed him to be of service to many who seek a peaceful, serene, and healthier body, mind, and spirit. Call in now if you would like to speak with Anthony. The call in number is 713-955-0332. Enjoy this transformational and healing show. Well, hello there, and welcome back to another Tuesday edition of the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine Show. My name is Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow, and I am your host, and a happy Taco Tuesday to you. Last week, it was Tamale Tuesday because it was 100 plus whatever degrees in Los Angeles, so, you know, <laughs> the pressure was on, the steam was on, and it was hot. Not so hot today, so it's just regular old Taco Tuesday. Enjoy your fill. Get your fill today. So welcome back, and uh, to, uh, today we're going to be talking about grounding and why the solid foundation is so important. Be in your root, be in your feet, root, be here, be here now, be in your root, be rooted and fruited. I talk about that a lot, and I feel it's really important. And uh, I just had a meeting um, earlier with something, and as I was talking to this particular person, I said, hold on a second. I looked under the table to see what kind of shoes she was wearing. She was wearing high heel shoes, and she always does. She wears platform soles. And she wears platform soles because <laughs> because she's ungrounded, unrooted, unfruited. I hope. And I hear it in the yeah buts, and, but I've been thinking. I hear it like I'm going to say that again. I hear it in the yeah buts, and I've been thinking. I'm going to. I'm going to. Yeah, but you know. Yeah, but. You know, you're going to yap at yourself to death. You're going to yap at yourself to nothing. You're going to yap at to, to feeling uh, no self-esteem, no power, no fruit, and no fruit. I hold. That's, what, that's where that comes from, a, a poor rooted system, a poor ground. I hold. But before we get started, I want to do something. And this is something that I haven't done, and I, and I think that I should have been doing this the whole time. I want to take some time to clear the energy in the room that I'm in. Clear myself that you created great spirit and all the spirit guides would come in and clear, 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 clear me. I will take those things away that I no longer need right here, right now, that you no longer need right here, right now. And they would be filled with kindness, with love, with goodness, with, with uh, abundance, with, with courage, with strength, with ground, with root, with fruit. I will right here, right now as we clear this room and clear our bodies and we clear the things around us that are no longer necessary and we fill in with those. I got to tell you, I am feeling uh, grounded, I am feeling rooted, and I am feeling fruited, and um, boy, we have a lot going, I have a lot going on, you know, right when I start to let go of stuff, and, uh, and, and I'm saying this because I've been put, you know, I always show up, I believe that consistency uh, breeds, um, abundance breeds doing, breeds um, uh, power in our third chakra, it allows us to stand in who and what we are, our whole, and what we have always been. You know, consistency. Keep showing up. Keep showing up no matter who shows up or no matter who doesn't show up. It's none of my business who doesn't show up, I hope. And on Saturday, I got that, just that example. Uh, I, um, I, didn't, uh, I kept showing up for my men's group, miscellaneous men in self care. And what I've learned is the men in Los Angeles don't want to show up. They don't, you know, they got better things to do, like to go to Dodger Stadium and they need to go to a, bar, a sports bar. They need to do other stuff. And God bless them. Let them do that. So I'll take that energy and move it towards something else. And I no longer 
am holding space for the men in self-care, uh, miscellaneous men in self-care. There still could be a continued uh, Facebook page uh, uh, for that on social media, and that's about it. If somebody wants a, a men in self-care group in their town, in their place, in their area where they live, uh, they can reach out to me at area code 818-442-1717 or at anthony at sacredrummedicine.com, and I will help them facilitate that, facilitate a group and begin a group, but I will not be facilitating it myself and running a group no longer. My energies are moving elsewhere. So as soon as I made that decision, I walked into the Church of Truth, and uh, and um, there was a meeting going on. And I walked into an office, and I sat down to eat my lunch, but I didn't get a chance to eat my lunch because um, half the board members of that church followed me into the room, and everybody seemed to want to talk to me, and they wanted to know about my group and what I was going to do and what, um, what kind of events I was going to be doing there in their church. And because I'm well-grounded and I'm well-rooted and I'm rooted, and uh, I believe in a good foundation. I said to them, I'm no longer doing the men's group here as of today because nobody has shown up. After a month of being consistent and being in my consistency and in my power and showing up, they don't show up, so that's okay. And somebody said, hey, you know what? You like working with people. We'd like to have you over at the Pasadena Atlanta Coalition of Transformative Leaders, PECFO. You know, and this is working with young couples, uh, uh, young people, uh, people, kids, children having children, kids who are have, already have kids, that's in, you know, teenagers, and it's about teaching them how to be in their power, be in their root, how to communicate with each other when, when they don't know how, when their parents didn't know how to communicate with them. What a gift that has been given, that, or that I have been given, um, because I stand in who and what I am, and I'm consistent, and I'm sure and fluid in what I do, I hope. I'm offered this position. I go for a meeting yesterday, and here I am. Work, I'm going to be working for and with this uh, organization, the nonprofit. That that is being rooted and fruited. And I always say, I am root. I am well grounded. I am rooted and fruited. I'm the tree that doesn't get knocked down by the four winds. And my branches extend into the heavens, into the heavens, and the birds of the air nest in my branches and eat of my fruit. And what is my fruit? The experience that I share of my going from point A to point B through the things that I have gone through in my life that could have knocked this tree over, that could have knocked this tree down, that could have uprooted me and pushed me over and I could have just withered and died, but I didn't. I hung in there. I was consistent with my grounding and my, and my watering of my ground for my second chakra. I hold water, ground, making that connection to Mother Earth, making that connection to myself through my fire, my fuego, I can, I will, I do. Allowing that fire to grow by through breath and taking breath in, allowing it to go through my heart space and into my lungs and down into my third chakra, soaking that fire and boiling that wire in the second chakra where it overflows into the root system and grows my roots deeper and deeper into the foundation of Mother Earth. I hope. And that holy vapor, that esteem, esteem flows upward into my heart and warms my heart and it opens my voice and opens my fifth chakra or opens my place of expression. It opens my place of vibration. And I, Anthony J. Rodriguez, walking crow, say what I have to say and be who I have to be and vibrate in a way that's good and glorious and that's giving and not just so I can hear myself talk as a talking head. No way, no way, no how, I hope. There are others in the world who need to hear what I have to say because I have experiences that they can say me too, too. You too? Me too? Me too? You too? Really? <laughs> All right. Let's sit down and have a conversation. I'm glad we can relate on some level or other. How old? 713-955-0332 is the car in them. Push when to get out of listen mode and speak to the host. The host with the most. Or the most root. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, and uh, let's have a conversation about what it is that you need to do to be rooted, what you need to do to be fluted, what you need to do to stand in, in, and up, in who you are and of who you are so you don't have to say, yeah, but I'm thinking, I'm gonna, you know, I was wondering, uh, I was questioning, I'm not sure. When are you going to step into the grounding and the root and the fruit and the foundation of who you are? Root chakra, color red, earth, is not only about manifesting money, manifesting a home, manifesting a job, a relationship, and safety and security for yourself. It's about manifesting a foundation where you can stand strong and you can face the things that come up and the challenges 
that come upon you, and you can say, oh, I see you, aho, and you can speak that vibration, I see you, through your, through your third eye, through your, through your sixth chakra, and through your fifth chakra, I see you, there you are, I'm aware of you, I'm rooted and I'm rooted, and come on, baby, you can't take me down, because I'm grounded, I know who I am, I know where I'm going, aho. <laughs> I get excited when I start talking about this stuff because it is so important. It is so important to teach it. It is so important to not just teach it and talk about it. It's important to do it. The last two and three years have been the roughest years of my life. I had to let go of home, money, family, wife, marriage, all those things, and God blessed them. They were all blessings. The letting go of them were blessings. The being with them, the hurt and the wound was blessings. It's all blessings. It's all blessings. It's all good. There's nothing, nothing negative about any of those things. They are the teachers. They are the things that have taught me how to dig deeper. They are the things that have taught me how to be still. They were the things and are the things that teach me to be quiet. They are the things that teach me how to not to say, yeah, but, and to pay myself double talk and lip service. Double talk or in lip service are the worst poison that you can drink as a human being, as an empath, as a healer, as a manifester, as an alchemist, as a shapeshifter, as magic that you can, that you can give yourself. The poison, the poison of lip service and double talk. And I hear it all the time. I've been hearing it for years, for 25 years in the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous because I'm sober. And, I, and I'm still sober after 25 years because I have been consistent in my sobriety. I have been consistent in doing the things necessary to be this way, to be of sober mind, to be of a loving heart, to be of a sober heart, to be of a sober soul. And I don't mean sober from spirit, from, from drinking, from alcohol. I mean sober from life, sober in life, showing up for others. Being here every every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern time, Anthony J. Rodriguez, Walking Crow, shows up and makes magic through the vibration of his voice, my voice, the whole. And I stand in my root, and I and I share with my fruit. And those who eat eat, and those who don't want move on to the next tree. There's another tree for you out there. You give you what you do, what it is you want, what it is you need. A whole. A whole. And part of, of being grounded is being able to manifest the things that I want in my life and, the, and manifest projects that I'm going to do uh, in my life so I can give to others, so others have an opportunity to take care of themselves. And one of those things uh, that we're going to be doing is called Self-Care for the Soul. And this is going to be a retreat on October 8th. It's going to be an all-day retreat. And we're going to have uh, – this is a, a, a retreat for empaths. This is a retreat for social workers. This is a retreat for healers who don't know how to heal themselves, who don't know how to care for themselves. This is a retreat for, for teachers who give in and of themselves their time to other people's children and hold space eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, if not 50, 60 hours a week. This is for those social workers who go into other people's homes and other people come to see them and they carry the baggage and the bondage and the burdens and the shames and the hurts and the wounds into those social worker offices or those social workers go into their homes and those empaths who are social workers who don't know how to protect themselves take that stuff on and they go into their home and they carry that with them and they don't know how to release that. They don't know how to not carry it. They don't know how to defend themselves and keep those things from them and stay clean in a situation that they don't need to be taking on these things. So we're going to offer a day of yoga. We're going to offer a day of stick yoga. We're going to offer a day of sound bath. We're going to after, offer a day of grounding. I will be teaching grounding, and I will be using the drum for, for vibration and for, for journey in that teaching. We're going to have a, a, a cater come in, and we're going to bring delicious, nutritious, fun, vegan, or vegetarian food so everybody is nourished. Not to, We're just not going to nourish your soul and your physical body and your mind. We're going to nourish your, bo your, your, your body as well. We're going to nourish it with good food. We're going to feed you with juices and fruits and, and, and vegetables and different things and grain. And then we're going to um, go into the afternoon session. And we're going to have a session with, 
with uh, Jeannie Love, who's going to teach you how to clear yourself, how to clear your wounds, how to clear your office, how to clear the things that, that come along that pick up energies along the way. And she's an incredible shaman. And then we're going to have um, uh, uh, Master Seal come in and teach Qigong. Aho. And then we're going to have uh, uh, Guru, Guru Yogi Ramesh come in and teach you how to uh, heal yourself and oxygenate your body through laughter. Aho. It's a full day of self-care and a full day of healing. October 8th is the date on that. Saturday, it's going to be at the Monrovia Canyon Park in the conference center. It's a huge, beautiful cabin in the mountains. And uh, it's $300 for the day. And that might sound for uh, like a lot, but if you're somebody who carries a lot of energies and don't know what to do with those things, this is going to be the thing that you need. Three hundred dollars is is a, is a small price to pay for a long day like this. The day is going to start at seven thirty and it's going to end at six p.m. It's a long day, and I'm sure um, when you um, when you finish the end of the day, you're going to be glad that you came. It's actually on a Sunday, not a Saturday. It's October eighth on a Sunday. I hope. So look forward to that. I'll be posting that on uh, LinkedIn, on uh, Facebook, social media, on Instagram. Uh, I'll be sending out emails that will be that will be uh, posted on my website as well at www.sacreddrum24.weebly.com. You can go to that page and look 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 for that stuff now. But creating these sorts of events is about being grounded. It's about manifestation. It's about standing in the truth and who and what I am. I know what I need. I know how I want to be healed. So if I want, I know what I need and I, I know what, how I want to be healed. I know who to go to to get those things. And I, and we, and Dr. Teresa and I, my partner have created a space and, 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 and a group of people who will be able to give that to you as well, who will be able to use, to help you heal, who will, able, who will be able to help you feel, who will be able to help you clear, who will be able to help you love. Give to yourself. Give what it is you really need. Not like that imitation stuff like cigarette smoke or pot smoke or spirits, you know, liquor spirits and spirit out, or stuffing with food instead of actually releasing the energies in your body and your soul that you don't need to be carrying a whole right here, right now. A whole, a whole, a whole. I say a whole. Uh, I'm excited and I'm on fire. I have so much happening in my life. And it's because I'm grounded. It's because I didn't get knocked down by the four winds. It, I'm not the tree that got knocked down. I stand in and of myself. I stand in my truth. And, if, and, and oddly enough, there's nobody that argues with me. Now, I started talking about a meeting that I had with somebody earlier. And I looked over under the table at her feet. And I saw that she was wearing platform soles. And, you know, she's not grounded. And she's in the ethers. She she actually helps herself to be in the ethers and to be in some place else other than where she should be. And um, you know, and I always ask people who are who are healers, uh, are you exercising your muscle? And this is the answer, this is the standard answer I seem to get. Well, I work on myself and I work on my friends. I do Reiki and on my house and my home and my food. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but if you're working on your, on sometimes doing a Reiki or energy healing on yourself or healing yourself and you're healing some of your friends and you're not exercising that muscle, that muscle which changes the way you heal, the way you feel, it changes the way you become, it changes the way you let go of, it changes how you let go of, it changes the things that you give to yourself. It changes the way you stand in your ground, in your root, and in your being, and in your self-esteem, and in your fire, your fuego, I can, and I will, and I do, and I am. It changes your connection to others, and to yourself, and to Mother Earth, and to create a great spirit for heaven, the whole. It changes all those things, and if you have no understanding of that, and you only think it's about money, and you only think it's about stuff, and you only think it's about clients, you are sorely mistaken. You have no idea what you're standing in, or you have no idea where you're not standing. Aho, and let us teach you. Let us teach you. Let us, let those of us who are in the work and in the root and in the foundation and in the fire and the fuego of what it is we're doing, aho, let us help you. Let us help you. Over the last week, I've been, I've been really busy. I, I've been really busy. And I, there's a lot of um, medicine people 
And there are people who call themselves shamans, and I'm always kind of like leery of that because the community will call you that if that's who you are. They will call you medicine person, woman or medicine man. They will call you curandero. They will call you shaman when they see you, when they recognize you. You don't have to call yourself. I don't call myself that. I'm a shamanic drummer. <laughs> I teach shamanic drum, drumming, and I do shamanic drumming, and I make shamanic drum, but that doesn't mean necessarily mean that I call myself that. So understand that. There's a lot of people um, making their way and finding me and asking for my help, asking for for help in the way of, you know, um, how, how do I step into this? How can I be this? I This is calling to me, and I have a lot of questions. And I say to you, what are you questioning? Why are you questioning? The only thing that you need to say yes when the medicine calls to you, when your calling calls to you, when Creator Great Spirit calls to you, when the Spirit Guides call to you, when the uh, archangels call to you, the, the guardian angels call to you, when uh, Ganesha calls to you, when um, Kuan Yin calls to you, when all the ascended masters, whoever they may be, call to you, you say, yes, I hear you. Yes, I will. I do. I will. I can. I do. I never say what, <laughs> you know, and, or, 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 or answer the question with a question like a 13-year-old. I don't do that. I say yes. I always say yes, because saying yes is how I've gotten to point B, I hope. Saying yes is how I got, have gotten from point A to point B. -ing. Did you hear me? Point A to point B. -ing. And I'm standing in my being, and I'm standing in my soul, and I'm standing in my free will of who and what I am, spiritual light worker, I hope, as a medicine person. And if you want to call me the S word, you can call me that. But I stand in who I, who and what I am and what I say and what I do. And frankly, nobody argues with me. I don't get an argument from the right wing. Nobody ever questions me on that. Oh, the S word. <laughs> My producer, when he says the S word, the shaman word, the chef word, you know, not the, uh, not the other word. Um, but, you know, um, not that I am not that. It's just that I don't need to call myself that. Those, ooh, yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely yes, uh, Tiffany. <laughs> I'm standing in that in that route as well. Um, anyways, uh, I got distracted by my producer because she's pretty funny. She's cutie pie, uh, and she's powerful, and she and she's got big medicine, and and I see her, and, and uh, I saw her the moment I spoke to her uh, in text messaging or however it was that we first originally contacted because I know that she stands in and what she does, in and who she is, and she does what she does because she is that, a oh, whole. She runs Goldilocks Productions, a oh, whole. This is blog talk radio, and this is possible because she said come, and I said yes. She said come, and I said yes. I didn't say, well, you know, let me think about it. <laughs> there was somebody who reached out to me about a month before. I said yes to Tiffany. And it was radio something, something, something. Uh, they were, she had a flashy sounding voice and she called me and had this big radio booming voice. And she wanted $7,000 from me so I could develop a radio show. Not so she could, they could develop. They wanted me to pay them $7,000 so I could develop a radio show for myself. Um, call me crazy. <laughs> what, 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 what am I, stupid? And uh, I was, I'm smart enough to know what that looks like, you know. Uh, and I didn't need to do that. I said, you know, thank you, but no thank you. And it's okay to say no. And to say, is that saying yes to something else? Like I said, I said no to my men's group, miscellaneous men in self-care on Saturday. I will no longer facilitate that group. I will no longer give my time to that which doesn't bear fruit, I hope. And I said yes to Tiffany, uh, white stage woman. Uh, she runs Goldilocks Productions, and here I am almost a year later doing this show because somebody said, be a guest on my initial show, and I said, yeah, <laughs> and I say yes to everything. Like I said yes to the meeting I went to earlier, and I sat across from this woman who is diminished in her third chakra. She has no connection to herself, to her heart, because she makes excuses for herself. I do not make excuses for myself, even if I'm a sexy shaman. There, I said it, Tiffany. <laughs> I'm a sexy medicine man, I'm a sexy curandero, I'm a sexy whatever I am, you know, walking crow, I'm a sexy crow. <laughs> Makes me laugh. <laughs>
Tiffany, thank you for giving me something to laugh about. Not that I don't have anything to laugh about. Anyway, so I stand in my room and I stand in the fruit of who and what I am and things start to manifest. I am now making shamanic drums for people and I and I, I think I made that announcement maybe two weeks ago, less than two weeks ago, and I have eight orders for drums. I have eight orders for shamanic drums for people who are doing healing medicine. And I have to tell you, not everybody is going to get a drum because intention is really important. What they're, the reasons why they want it and what they're going to do with it are more important than anything. And that's going to speak to the medicine that I care to say yes or no, because not everybody needs a drum yet or at all. And I think, uh, I think if uh, if you're a healer and you're standing in the in the medicine that you stand in and you're working the medicine you're working and you're hearing my voice, you understand what I'm saying. I didn't I didn't have any sort of a drum till it called to me, and I was sent to go drum for um, Sarah Eagle Woman at Golden Bridge Yoga for Spirit Circle for three or four hours at a time. And it was there that I then the connection happened where I left my body and left that room. And that great spirit in a spirit world where drum, mallet, my voice, and creator, great spirit, a whole, all became one. And then I knew what my medicine was. I just didn't choose a drum and say, I want a drum, I'm going to drum. <laughs> and I was sent out to, uh, to Tuli River over near Porterville, California, you know, out in the Central Valley. And I was sent there with a man named Raymond Garcia, who was an American native, and he taught me. And he, we made that drum together. He showed me how to cut the hide. He showed me how to put the wood together. He showed me how to tie it. He showed me the ceremony of that, of what goes into the drum. It's just not making a drum for, some, for somebody to bang on it just because they want to have a trophy in their house. Oh, no. There's a lot of root that goes into that. That's the tree that we're talking about. We're talking about skin. We're talking about animal. We're talking about root chakra. Root chakra. A hide, the height of an animal, the height of an elk, the height of a deer, the height of a bear, the height of a moose, the height of buffalo, the height of a, a cow, the, the height of different animals that are root, that are ground, that are earth. Oh, understand what this means. The tree, the wood that, 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 that is frames that drum, that is earth, that is ground, a oh, hole, that is ground. There's purpose in what it is that I do when I make a drum. Your intentions will be infused into that drum. And those drums are becoming, uh, are manifesting and coming into reality because I spoke to the vibration of that drum, which is my voice, the heartbeat of Mother Earth. I hold my heartbeat. Mother Earth, everything about that drum is about Earth. And the four elements of earth and the four directions that I honor and the medicine in those things, that is grounded, that is being rooted, that is being fruited in the teachings of the four directions, a whole, in the four tribes, a whole, in the four medicines, a whole, in the four clans, animal clans, a whole, in all those things, the four peoples, the four races, a whole. Everything is grounded, everything is root, and everything has the power of mother in it. You know, this Friday, this Friday, I'm in, I am in ceremony right now. I am in ceremony. So I have to be careful this week of how I act and how I behave and the things that I say and the things that I do and what my intentions are because my ancestors are listening. My ancestors are watching. This week I'm walking toward the Nipi. I'm walking towards the Lodge. I'm walking towards ceremony over in San Fernando. I hope. Well, I'm going to meet with other men and we're going to go in and I'm going to crawl in in my humility and ask for permission to crawl back into the womb and be. Oh, that's, that's earth. Being with mother, with the holy vapor in that place is such an incredible experience. I don't know what it is for anybody else, but I know what it is for me. And it has changed the way of my life. It has changed the way of my being. It has changed the way of my soul oh, and the spirit that I am and that I am not. Oh. 
I sit on the earth, I sit in the, in, in the, in the dirt, and the, eventually it becomes mud, and the stones are brought in, and the holy water is poured, and steam happens, and it's hot, and it is earth. It is earth, and it is good, and it is me, and it is of me, and I am um, of it, a whole. I am of Mother Earth, a whole. And I step into the light. And I step in who and what I am. Oh, how do you want to step in? How do you want to step out? Are you willing to crawl in humility and ask for permission? Are you? Are you? I have become willing. I have become willing to let go of all those things that no longer serve me. I have been willing to say, yes, okay, I will, I should, I am, I hope. Not I should, I do. My apologies. I am rooted. I am well rooted. I'm the tree that doesn't get knocked down by the flow. I am rooted and fruited. And the birds of the air, who are the birds of the air? They are those shamans and those healers and those people who need help, who come to me for counsel and mentoring. They eat of my fruit. They nest in my branches. I am honored to say yes to them. I ask nothing from them. I only ask them to say yes to the medicine. What is your medicine? What do you want to know? What do you want to do? And more and more people I meet say, I left this corporate job that I had that I was really good at, and I got a call. I met a woman like that the other day at the Imagine Center on Sunday. I was on the way back from the beach, or I was giving myself self-care. I was sitting at the ocean, and I was sitting on the sand, and I was drumming, and I I was meditating, I was watching, I was asking for a dolphin and even a, maybe even a whale and the dolphin appeared and uh, I got to meet some people and burn some sage and, and, and then I stop at the Imagine Center and I meet somebody who says I want a drum, I want a healing. I left my corporate job and not, like, me too, but I didn't leave my corporate job, they kicked me out again. And when your corporate jobs kick you out again, again and again, again in the name of layoffs or whatever, whatever the title they give it. It's time to go. It's time to pay attention. It's time to say no more to that. No, thank you. Uh-uh. Sorry. I'm out of here. Yeah, I'm good at what I do, but I'm better at other things. I can learn other things. And I will be sustained by Mother Earth. I will be sustained by Creator. And I will be able to breathe in a better way and not breathe through my anxiety or my migraine headaches or through my um, asthma. I hope. I will not have to breathe through those things. I will breathe through my power, through my feet, through my sacrum, through my um, root, through my uh, third chakra, my fire, my heart, air, lungs, I love, unlove, a whole, my voice, my vibration, my fifth chakra, my hands, my elbows, my shoulders, my forearms, my neck, my epiglottis, my epiglottis. <laughs> I love the way that sounds in, in Hindi or in, in Indian English. I love that. It, it sounds honorable when they say epiglottis. Um, and through my voice and through my tongue and through my teeth. A whole world. And I move into my knowing, my third eye, and my, and my sixth chakra. And I know and I see and I'm aware. And I, I'm he who understands and I'm he who hears and I'm he who sees and I'm he who is aware. A whole. But not through, the, through my ears. Through my heart space. Through, I see and I hear, and I hear through my heart space. I see you. I hear you. I feel you. I hold. And I move into my seventh chakra, my crown chakra, and it's open to the heavens, and it's open to all things, and all things can enter and move back and forth between the heavens to create a great spirit, between the archangels and the, my, my ancestral lineage and all those things and all those people and ascended masters that are here, right here, right now, always, aho, aho, aho. And I am still grounded. I am connected from earth to the heavens and beyond. Aho. And that fire burns in the middle, aho. And I am loved and I love me. When will you begin to be loved and understand the love that has been bestowed upon you because you draw breath every day, you roll over and wake up and put your feet on the floor. Aho! I have a responsibility, Creator Great Spirit. 
I have a responsibility to Mother Earth. I have a responsibility to the four directions every time I roll over, draw breath, and put my feet on the earth as the sun rises in the east. Grandfather Sun, the, 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 the divine masculine energy, manifestation, the whole. I have a responsibility. I have a responsibility to wake up, stand up, and I have a responsibility to you to do that day in and day out, day after day, after week, after week, after month, after month, after year, after decade, after decade, after decade, after millennium, after millennium. And this I will do because Creator, Great Spirit, the four directions of Mother Earth and all involved said yes to me, and I say yes to them. I stop saying no. Let your yes be yes, it's biblical, and your no be no. Allow the scales to fall from your eyes and see clearly who and what you are. Look in the mirror. Look beyond the mirror. Don't look in the mirror to the person that may or may not be standing behind you. Look into that mirror and look into your eyes and look into your smile. Look into your tears and look into your soul and put your feet on the floor and breathe and be with that person and learn how to say, Anthony, I love you. I said last week and the week before, I am romantically involved and in love with Anthony J. Rodriguez walking Cole. I hope. I am. I'm in the most beautiful relationship that I've ever had in this lifetime. The other lifetimes I don't remember. <laughs> but because I'm here right here right now talking about this, I am not going to have to come back and do that thing in the next lifetime to try to learn how to love myself. I hope I will be a teacher. I will be a giver. I will be fire. I will be fuego. I will be manifestation. I will be alchemy. I will be change. Change. I will be magic. I am walking crow, the keeper of the sacred, the sacred law. I hope, and I will be there for you. And I can't tell you how many people say to me, Anthony Crow came to me as I was talking to this young lady today who was diminished in her third chakra, and I encouraged, and I encouraged, and I encouraged, and I stood, and I, and I stood in the wind of her doubt, and I encouraged her that she is beautiful, that she can, and she will, and she should. As we left, there was, I was sharing my drum with her that I made, and Crow showed up and was standing over us in a big pine, in a big fir. I could see Crow. I could hear her, but she couldn't see him until he reared his beautiful head. I hope. And I was honored, and I stood in that moment, and I thought, oh, and she heard the sound of the drum as she played it, and she fell in love with that drum. But she didn't fall in love with just that drum. She fell in love with the sound of her heartbeat, the heartbeat of Mother Earth, a whole, Gaia, Mama Pacha, Pacha Mama, excuse me, Pacha Mama, a whole. Oh, having your feet on the earth and being well rooted and fruited and being grounded and being in the soul and being in the being of who you are means you can, you will, you'll do. A whole, a whole, a whole, a whole. In the beginning of this show, I asked that this room be cleared, that the airwaves would be cleared, that, that where you would be cleared. And the message would be carried and the medicine would show up and it would take place and transform and transmute in a way that it should. And I never know how it's going to transmute when I, when that announcement is made that it's time for the transformational sacred drum medicine show. 713-955-0332 is the calling number. Call in. Call in and get connected. Call in to be rooted and fluted. Call in to learn how to ground. Call in to step into your heart. Call in to step into your vibration of the voice of who and what you are. I hope what you have to say. Be here now. Be here now. Be here now is being rooted and fruited and not in stress, not in anxiety, not in what I have to do, not in where I have to go. You know, last night there was a, a, I was at work and there was a power outage because the transformer blew. <laughs> So they had to shut down the store. And there was a man that came in 
a lovely man, and he was looking for something to calm his mind. And I looked at him, I said, have you ever tried breathing? Standing still and tried breathing? He said, yeah, well, I tried yoga. I said, I didn't ask you if you tried yoga. I asked you if you tried breathing and being still and being with yourself and giving your body oxygen, fire, or flag, or what it means. He says, well, you know, I, I, I worked with the Kundalini. I said, I didn't ask you about the Kundalini. <laughs> I'm, and I'm looking at him. And we had the conversation. I told him who and what I am. And uh, I read him. I said, you know, you can eat. You want to calm your mind, eat something organic. Eat, eat almonds. Or excuse me, walnuts. That's brain food. Your mind is racing. You need to come out of your brain. You need to come out of the darkness and into the light of the body, of the light of the soul. Oh, you need to take your shoes off. You need to pe put your feet on Mother Earth. You need to sit down and be still and be in your silence. Well, I went to drum meditations, and I didn't get anything out of it. I said, what were you looking for? He says, well, I couldn't stop my mind from thinking because of the drum. I said, well, you either listen to the beat or you listen to silence between the beats. But at some point, those two become one. I hope. Through the vibration. Through the manifestation. I hope. <laughs> he had an answer. He's a smart guy. He was a computer programmer. So he's a smart guy. And those are smart cookies. And they're always in their head. And that's the problem. They're always in their head. They think that they always have to be working. He said, you know, I live to work. I said, that's a shame because I work to live. I said, uh, 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 what happens when you die? Your work is going to go to somebody else. And so, so what? When do you rest? When do you enjoy your life? When do you stop thinking about those things that you really don't have to be doing because you live in fear. And that, that was the medicine. This man lives in fear that his, that, that his work is going to go away if he's not on top of it, that somebody's going to steal it. You know why he thinks like that? Because his feet are not rooted. He is not feeding his ground. He is not creating a solid foundation. He is not being rooted and fruited. He is living in fear. And there's a story about a, about a king who gave uh, talons to his uh, his uh, his servants, and some talons, some servants went and invested their money, some servants went and did other things with their money, and there was one servant who buried it because he was in fear that he would lose the master's money. The master gives it to you to use it, not to bury it and sit on it like a rotten egg or a rock. You do not sit on a chili. You take a chili and you spice up your life. I'll hold me back here. It's Taco Tuesday. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. You're spicing yourself, your life up with a chili. Right, Reverend Tiffany? <laughs> spice it up. Don't hide it. Don't bury nuts. When a squirrel buries their food, it's because they are preparing for, for what's, what's to come. And they there and there's a plenty of abundance, but there's going to be times when there's when there's scarcity, and they know where to go for that for that food. Use what you've been given. Use what you have. Use what what you hold in your hand. Use where you stand in your feet to become rooted and fruited and grounded in your safety, security, and sometimes not so safe, and sometimes not so secure. But that's when you become consistent. You keep showing up no matter what happens in your life. You keep showing up through the yeah, but. You keep showing up through the doubts of other people that you live in. You show up in doubt and you let other people live in your head and you can't even live in your root and your fruit and the grounding of who and what you are right here, right now. Aho. Aho. You know, if you go to uh, Yosemite and there's chunks of uh, El Capitan that have fallen off, you know where they fall off from? Those chunks fall off from the top of the rock. That's a huge rock. It's a thousand plus feet up. Those chunks fall off from the top of the rock. They don't fall from the bottom. The bottom is solid foundation. A hole. A hole. Water runs off the top, over the top. The wind weaken the top of it. But the root remains solid. The root remains the same. The root cannot be destroyed. When will you stand in your root? When will you dial 818-442-1717 and say, Anthony, how do I get rooted and fruited? How do I get past this thing that, that I don't let go of? What can I step into? How can I step into a medicine that's good for me? I hope. Anthony at sacreddrummedicine.com is one of the answers. And there is many answers. And I can lead you to those answers. But I can't make you drink from those answers. Doesn't matter where I lead you. 
doesn't matter where the horse is led. If the horse is not willing to drink, the horse is not willing to drink. If you're not willing to drink in and out the medicines that are presented to you, and you want to ask questions like a 13-year-old, you want to ask a, answer a question with a question, that's your business. Go find another healer. Go find another teacher. Go find another master. Go find another uh, medicine person. Go find another curandero. Go find another shaman. Go find somebody who will pay you lip service and tell you what you want to hear. That is not transformation of sacred drum medicine. That is not Anthony J. Rodriguez walking growth. I will not lead you to be on a path of, of, uh, of lip service and double talk. No way, no how. I hope. So you can hang up your phone right now and not listen to the show anymore and log off if you want. But that's not why you log in. You will log in because you know that I stand in my truth. You know that what I say is true. You know that what I say is true, not because you believe it and giving you and telling you what I've been through, what has happened in my life. What are the steps that I have taken? What are the steps that I have taken? So I keep hearing people talk about what it is they're going to do because they need more in education to do the step into the medicine. And my thing, I say to them, when are you going to exercise that muscle because you have a muscle to exercise and you don't exercise it and you avoid yourself because you're afraid of what other people think. You're afraid about what other people might want from you. You're afraid that they won't love you. Why do you care? <laughs> are they paying your bills? Are they loving you? Do they come into your house and clean your house and do something for you? They clean your clock is what they do. They're cleaning your clock every time you share with them and you share a yeah, but, and I'm gonna, and I've been thinking. They're cleaning your clock and you're letting them eat your lunch. Meanwhile, they don't do anything either. And you keep surrounding yourself with poison and you drink poison. You see that the glass has poison on it and you keep drinking it and making excuses for it. Oh, no, but it's got Kool-Aid flavoring. Yeah, well, guess what? It might have formaldehyde. You know, and that came up last night, too. You know, there was a, a lady in, a, in, in the store where I work, and she was looking for psyllium hot. And there's all kinds of different kinds of psyllium hot. But there was only two on the shelf. And one of them was uh, from an Indian company called Indian Organics. I'm, I'm not trying to plug anybody. But she said, I said, those are out. She says, well, you guys don't have what I, you don't have what I use. I said, well, I know we don't have what you use, but this one over here doesn't have any traces of lead. Cillium husk is healthy for it, but it has traces of lead. This one costs more money and it's in stock. It's right here, right now. What is it that you want? Do you want to keep giving yourself poison? For the guides of nutrition? Or do you want something that's going to really feed your body and do something for you without poisoning you, poisoning you with toxicity? Every time you fall prey to the, to the thinking and, and the, the sayings of others, you are giving yourself poison. Every time you bow or, or chase the carrot, the dangling carrot, the dangling carrot, of spoken and unspoken expectations because you are not grounded in who and, who and what you are, you are drinking poison. And I don't drink poison. I refuse to drink poison. I want to be nourished. I want to be fruited. I want to eat from other people, of other people's food. I eat from the fruit of uh, uh, Reverend Emma, Molina and Yika. I eat of her fruit. I eat of the fruit of a Marsh Engel, and I repeat these names all the time. I eat of the fruit of Master Seal, a home, a kahuna. I eat of the fruit of Jeannie Love, a beautiful and wonderful medicine woman, shaman, and it said that calls me friend. That calls me friend. And I call her mother, and I call her friend, and I call her teacher, and I call her medicine woman, and I call her shaman. And I call to her, thank you. A whole, a whole. How do how did I get from point A to point B? I stood in my room. 
I stood in my food, stood in a solid foundation and created more foundation by grounding, breathing into my body and connecting to others and connecting to myself and being in my fire, my flavor, and stoking that fire with oxygen, beautiful oxygen and air. A whole, a whole. I made a decision that in, in next July, um, this July, next month, uh, I'm going to be gone. I'll be, uh, I'm going to Hawaii. And I haven't booked this, the trip yet because uh, I just haven't. Um, but I'm going to do that later today, probably, or tomorrow. Uh, but I need to talk to the person that I'm staying with. And I was going to do, uh, and it's going to be a surprise to her, uh, an event there. I was going to go there and do an event. But I was told by a guide not to. I was told to just go and rest and be with the, uh, the elements of those islands, of that island to be with the ocean, to be with the water, to be with the earth, to be with the air, to be with the fire, the fuego, the fire that, that rises up from the middle of the earth that creates those islands, and the fire that shines down on me from grandfather's son, a whole, a whole. And to be in, in, in the fifth house of cancer, in the fifth house of water, in the fifth house of love, and give myself that thing which I have been needing and wanting, and I'm going to nurture myself. And I'm going to nurture the people that are there that are waiting for me to come. And I will be, and I will take a drum. And I will beat the drum. And I will journey there. But I will not, I, I, I decided I'm not going to do an event there. Because that is for my grounding. That is for my self-care. That is for my root, my rotation. I'm going to call it rotation. <laughs> I'm being rotated. <laughs> I have a friend now. His name is Rudy. He's actually not a friend, he's a client, and he's a brother that I, I sweat, I've done ceremony with. And, um, he, uh, his name is Rodolfo, and I call him, his name, we call him Rudy, his English name is Rudy, but I call him Ruti, R-O-O-T-Y. And uh, he's a beautiful man, he's a beautiful soul, and we had a conversation the other day, and I'm proud of him. You know, he's learning how to co-parent his children um, with, his, with his now ex-wife, and he's learning how to be Mr. Mom. And he doesn't always do it right, and he's spends a lot of time trying to live up to uh, what she's doing, but he doesn't have to. I assured him he doesn't have to live up to what it is she's doing and how she does it because she does it how she does it because that's how mothers do it. Fathers do it differently because fathers don't really know how to do it and we have to figure it out. And if we have to ask a mother, that mother, or another mother of how to, we'll do that. We'll do that. And I have no children, but I know how to do that. I know how to ask questions. I know where the source is. I know that because Tiffany, Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman has children. I think they're boys. I know that she knows how to rear children, and I can go to her and ask her that question. My teacher, Emma uh, Molina Nike, Reverend, no, has children, and I can go to her and ask her those questions. Master Seal has children. I can ask him. Uh, Marsh Engel has children. I can go to her. That's a source for information, and Jeannie Love is a source for information of how to rear and raise children. So for a guy like me who has no kids, but I father and I, and, I, and I mentor many kids and many of other people's kids, I know where I can go to for information. I am grounded, I am rooted, and I am fruited, and I'm willing to nest in other people's tree and eat of their fruit and eat of their experience. When will you become willing your feet Plant your soul in who and what you are right here, right now. Not someday. Not fulfilling the dreams of others and not and without fulfilling your own first. When the mask falls, the, temp, the, the pressure drops in the cabin and the masks fall, put the mask on yourself first because you can't give away what you haven't got. You can't help somebody else if you're choking from lack of oxygen and you're doing the fish and you're dying. You are no good and no help to anybody else. Put the mask on yourself first and then give away what you've got. Aho. Mitake yasin. Aho. This is a month of Thanksgiving. This is a week of Thanksgiving. This is a day of Thanksgiving. This is an hour of Thanksgiving. This is a minute of Thanksgiving. This is a, 
second of thanksgiving. Gratitude is a daily investment, and I invest in my gratitude to the four directions, the Mother Earth and Great Spirit, daily, hourly, minutely, and every second. I have no choice. It's where my source comes from. Where does your source come from? Do you think that your source comes from your friends? Where does your love, source of love, come from? Are you busy trying to chase the dangling carrot and get that from somebody else? Are you trying to achieve love through somebody else? Because it's not going to happen. You need to go inside and learn to love you. And I see this all around. I've been married three times. And this is the lesson that I've learned. I've learned that I'm not going to receive what I want from the people that I get into relationships from. I may receive a little bit or something. But not what it is I truly want, what I truly need, what I truly uh, want to have, what I want to give myself. These things have to come from me. These things have to come from my root, from my foundation, from the foundation of my teachings, not the foundation and the root of my domestication. Because the root and the fruit of my domestication is to try to get it from somebody else is to chase the dangling carrot of the job that somebody might or might not have for me. You know, or the paycheck that they might or might not have. I am not a slave to them. I am a slave to nobody. I am a tree. I am a redwood. I am an oak. I am the fir. I am the pine. I am the walnut. I bear fruit. I bear fruit. I am the orange. I am the lemon. I am the avocado. I am rooted and I am fruited. And where I stand is where I draw my source from. I am right here, right now, giving myself love, giving myself care, giving myself nurturement. Are you willing and ready to do just that? I hope. My friend Alma in Maui, and I think she's listening right now. She listens later in the day. Sometimes she doesn't have the opportunity. She's called in several times to this show, 713-955-0332, just in case you missed it. And she is giving herself everything that her soul is asking for. She went to Spain, and she did some, some, some healing of the earth, and she did some beautiful work. And it's my understanding that she may be going again. That's who I'm going to visit in Hawaii. I'm going to visit a manifestor. I'm going to visit somebody who's in her medicine, who has walked the walk, who has walked the hard road, a hope. And I am going there to share my medicine with her and to receive of her medicine because I know that she knows what I know because she has been consistent of the showing up for herself and her son from the day her husband passed away five or six years ago. Her life has not been easy. Her life has not been easy, but her life is good, and her life is good because she has said yes to the ancestors. She has said yes to create a great spirit. She has said yes to Ganesha, Kuan Yin. She has said yes to the four directions, the whole, and she said yes to the island and the island of Maui. She said yes because she's a manifest, and that's where I'm going. That's who I'm going to go visit. I'm going to go stand in that energy because I say yes to all those things as well. I hope. My name is Anthony Rodriguez, and you're listening to the Transformation of Sacred Drum Medicine. We are talking about grounding, being in foundation, being in the root and who and what of you are, who and what of you are. Who are you? What are you? Who have you been? What are you not? I hope. Are you living in your domestication or are you living in the truth of who and what you are? Rooted and fruited and grounded and sharing your fruit with others and allowing those to nest in your branches as you extend your branches into the sky, I hope. Are you somebody who's willing to give in and of yourself? Selfless. Selfless. Sharing. Sharing. Here it goes. Is caring. And caring is sharing. I hope. I want to thank everybody for coming to this today, Tuesday edition of the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine Show. I want to thank um, 
uh, Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman for being such a, a lovely uh, producer and uh, overseer and uh, a, care, a caregiver uh, in, in authority over this show and all the other shows that, that, that she uh, holds space over. And thank you, Tiffany. I, I really appreciate it. I want to inv invite you to come and listen next week. This is Anthony Rodriguez for the Transformation of Sacred Medicine show saying good day and thank you. Bye-bye. Right now at Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory, save 50 to 70% off everything in stores and online. That's right, 50 to 70% off everything. Celebrate the 4th with dresses from $19.99 at Banana Republic Factory. And at Gap Factory stores, tees start at $4.99. Plus save an extra 40% off clearance. Sale ends Tuesday. Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory store or shop us online. Right now at Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory, save 50 to 70% off everything in stores and online. That's right, 50 to 70% off everything. Celebrate the 4th with dresses from $19.99 at Banana Republic Factory. And at Gap Factory stores, tees start at $4.99. Plus save an extra 40% off clearance. Sale ends Tuesday. Search our store locator for your nearest Gap Factory and Banana Republic Factory store or shop us online.